Peace. <laughs> love from love, hope from hope, and uh, peace from peace. Our living Prince of Peace who comes on a cloud of his own prophecy. Matthew 24, his word is manifesting in the end of uh, the age of grace and the beginning of the kingdom age. So it's time to arise and shine and celebrate and let our love flow and the brotherhood of man arises and the one world religion of John 10, 16 arises. One good shepherd of love over all mankind. So praise the Lord and pass the ammunition and the ammunition is the videos that I've been putting out. Share them. Please subscribe. If you want the uh, transcript, e email me at uh, armageddon.housley at gmail.com. So it's time to celebrate. And uh, I'm coming to you from uh, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, not too far from Niagara Falls. And uh, went to Niagara Falls and got those lousy t-shirts. <laughs> but uh, no, actually I'm a few hours away from Niagara. Uh, right across from Detroit City, my hometown. And uh, so I've got on my uh, halo hat, and uh, we're going to have story time about uh, our love of the ages, the risen one, who has given all of mankind their unity because he knew we could never get unity on our own. We'd like to argue too much. And so shall it be that Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, Emmanuel, Shiloh, Carpenter of the Ages, the Word of God, whatever you want to call Him, Jesus our Messiah, He shall now help all of those receiving Habakkuk's vision of His glory into their midst, because my recordings are the manifestation of the vision of Habakkuk too, and God's glory shall cover the seas as, as water covers the oceans and as uh, grass covers the land, as lilies cover the pond, his glory shall be all over this earth. And uh, people will be saved by their unleashed love that he is unbounding for us. And uh, the time is short. And that is why things are accelerating. Uh, they're short until all things are fulfilled and all things shall be fulfilled, including Emmanuel coming back to us uh, as, as it is foretold to his temple. And that is the second coming. Therefore, let the pride of that lion of courage be most joyful because that master of all shall now send forth his hosts to help them through all the forthcoming tribulation. He is assigning his hosts of heaven to watch our backs. And he says to us in this hour that I shall return my terrifying anger, says the Lord God, the Most High. And uh, if you give me what I desire, and what he wants is for us to start showing more love. So if we will do that, and if the hearts of everybody turns to everybody, the fathers to the children, children to the fathers, exactly as Malachi 4.6 foretells, then the earth will be saved from that oblivion of Isaiah 24, Zephaniah 1, uh, Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, Matthew 24.22, days of Noah are upon us, and total oblivion is what Jesus meant by days of, it, it's written, be not ignorant. But the good news is it is an erasable curse of Malachi that shall be satisfied. And what shall happen if people will listen to the sound of my voice and obey the Lord's spirit of love coming through me, we shall embrace the days of the great refreshing, the days of the great restoration of Acts 3.21. And then shall come the latter-day peace, no matter what translation, latter-day peace of Isaiah 2, where we will beat our, our swords into plowshares. So let all the former sheep of God now roar as those of increased faith trust in the Lord day by day, and let them lose not their faith's sweetest consolation that's now being offered within this foreseen holy message 
of our Lord God that was foretold in Habakkuk 2, 2, that the written uh, people would let their eyes run through and that they would let their ears hear the words of his messenger of Jeremiah, the messenger of the covenant, exactly as Malachi 3, 1 foretold, the covenant message. And it is the covenant of kingdom age <laughs> that was misused and invalid in its former spot. Uh, desolate heritage is it caused and Isaiah 49 8 was very correct because it was correctly addressed to Israel and all mankind and that that proves that the born again definition has always been wrong. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. So born again is just flame on to become as little children again like Jesus said. And the days are now coming forth when that Lord of always shall be walking closely with all those who cherishes his long waiting everlasting gospel and his word of patience, which he has promised. And I've got a video on the disclosed full word of patience, if you search for that. Um, and he promised his own that these good things would be coming in the book of Revelation. And uh, this word of patience is from Revelation 3 to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. And it comes by COVID, the trial of all flesh. And um, his unchanging word shall help millions to overcome. For we are children of the Most High, and we are uh, overcomers because he is our living, living victory. And that's for sure. So it's time to embrace the Lord's uh, the spirit of love's praise and to praise the Lord because he is love. And he says to all flesh, I forgive your iniquity and I shall remember it no more. This is the kingdom age covenant, one of unconditional love. And every soul embracing this greatest good news of the Lord's praise, glory, and honor ever to, to come unto earth will be led by our regal eagle of the eons into magnifying our roaring lion of Zion, and they'll feel the mighty presence of he that is faithful and true. Then shall they realize that he is mighty in drawing our will unto God's merciful clemency, and uh, that the treasures of our most blessed grace are only deposited in his love alone. So it's time for action. It's time to embrace our brothers. It's time to raise up the one world religion of the golden rule to become our brother's keeper and, 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 and to just love on people, forgetting all about what they believe or what color they are or this or that. We are all the same and we all bleed the same. And his love, praise God, according to the revelation, that I have been given fully has transcended all religion and that is why we have desolate heritages of Isaiah 49 8. I am Elijah the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12 13 that arises to embrace my destiny and prophecy has been given not to foretell the future but to make the future so praise ye the Lord everlastingly, O faithful people of the Holy Spirit's beckoning, that the Lord's faithful hearts are the tablets where our holy law of love is now engraved. Blessed are those lifting up his holy names through the anointed canticles of the Lord's highest praises herein through my videos. For his dove of love shall swiftly come forth to such obedient souls open to edification and open to the exaltation of our beloved one of the ages so that his light may shine through us in order to save this earth and as that happens we shall reveal the blinding radiance of our living god and unto all obedient children of light shall his holy spirit release the weight of his glory so it may fall upon them 
and when his glory falls upon them, then shall come the vision of Smith Wigglesworth, uh, unending celebration that will not cease until Emmanuel comes again and Shiloh enters into his temple. Blessings shall explode worldwide, and people need to get a hold of this because I bring the fruition of all of the prof prophecy of the Bible. Uh, the climax of all prophets are within the message of the kingdom age, God's mercy. And my personal ministry platform is Isaiah 49. I am one in verse 4 that wasted all of his time in vain. And don't none of you Christians be uh, sending me notes of, oh, it was Jesus that wasted all his time. <laughs> Who gave us our unity that he prayed for in the Garden of Gethsemane? He knew he was sending it through the kingdom age, new covenant. He didn't waste no words. At the same time, if, if he had not intended on sending his kingdom age covenant, dusted off, restored, as Acts 3.21 says, he would have been wasting his time. He would have known that because we can't agree about nothing. But now it comes time to agree to disagree and to let our bad religiosity of judgmental, critical uh, thinking of our brother to, to stop. And um, that's exactly what has to happen, folks. And uh, so there's going to be a reformation, a great restoration that's coming. So I invite you to come on down and um, embrace the words of peace that would bring forth 1,000 years because they are literal. And the Bible self-interprets itself. If the Bible were to be literal, then we would have a 1,000 years of peace which proves that I'm not some radical. The Bible restoration that Jesus spoke of in Matthew 24, uh, uh, I don't want to misquote the, the verse, um, in Acts 3.21. And that restoration comes from his uh, Elijah restoring all things. And that's uh, Matthew 17.11. So, blessings unto you all, and until next time, bye-bye. Uh,